Ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, the first day of uh, the European Gold Forum here in Zurich, presented by the Denver Gold Group. And uh, yeah, we have another lovely gold producer now here, Kirkland Lake from Canada, and Brian Hinchcliffe, the president and CEO. Pleasure to have you here. Thank, Thank you, very you very much, much for taking the time. Yeah, Kirkland Lake, uh, well, a company, I would say, well-known, well-respected. Uh, you did a great job. Give us a short overview of what's going on in the company. Well, we're in the middle of a major production expansion, which is targeted at becoming a mid-cost producer. That's the, the focus of our activity in Kirkland Lake, which is some six hours north of Ontario, very famous historic mining camp. Uh, we own all five mines uh, that historically produce 22 million ounces of gold. Mm -hmm. So it's a high-grade uh, high grade mining operation in a politically safe country. That's what attracted us to the camp in the first place. Mm -hmm. So uh, high grade mining, what's about the cost? What's we, going on there? You're in Canada? We're, so. we're, Canada is not an inexpensive place. It's mm -hmm. an expensive place to operate for sure. Our mm -hmm. target is to get to below a, a $700 cost per ounce, so a $650 so to $700 cost per ounce. Cash cost or all in? That's direct mm -hmm. uh, costs, mm -hmm. direct, uh, direct cash costs with an overall goal of being under $1,000 on, on sustaining CapEx, including mm -hmm. expiration, including everything else. So mm -hmm. a 650 to $700 direct operating cost and another 250 to $300 per ounce for all in, all in. costs, uh, sustaining CapEx, direct operating, et cetera. And with that cash and cost profile, we'll be in the middle mm -hmm. range of the global industry, which is where we want to be. Mm -hmm. Um, you are, as you said, you are expanding now from, I think, from 1,000 tons per day to 1,800 tons per day capacity. And you are also hiring 200 new people. Yes. Um, what are your base assumptions for the gold price? As we saw the last days, the gold price dropping dramatically. Yes. And you are now expanding all, the, all, all your uh, business, all your operations. Um, what, what is the minimum gold price you need? to have for this and what, what are your base assumptions then for the future? Well our goal was always to be underneath a thousand dollar cost per ounce mm -hmm. and, and that's not because we think the gold price is going there. I think that what we've seen in the last week is certainly a, a correction in the gold market but mm -hmm. uh, we remain bullish. Mm -hmm. uh, we're bullish because yeah, so do I. <laughs> um, as, as, as countries around the world and central banks around the world print more and more money it's mm -hmm. a devaluing currency and, um, and it's good, going to be see stronger stronger nominal prices anyway for 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 the gold market so mm -hmm. our goal is to get below a thousand dollars on all-in operating cost we're probably about a year a year and a half away from being in that position mm -hmm. as you say we're going to be expanding from a thousand to eighteen hundred tons per day but that's one stop on the journey to getting to twenty two hundred tons mm -hmm. per day mm -hmm. so the idea is get to 200 twenty two hundred tons per day by which time we'll have twelve hundred employees and that roughly speaking divides into two tons of productivity per employee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And at that race ratio rule of thumb will be competitive from a cost point of view for being in a in a mm -hmm. in a high cost country, which yeah, Canada is a high cost country for Definitely. sure. Definitely. Yeah. Yes. But you have to pay something for the safety. Political <laughs> safety is very important. Yes. As, as a capital yeah. intensive business, it's very important from our point of view to be in locations that you know that represent that that, that, that you know that, that mm -hmm. have the sanctity of that uh, and respect the sanctity mm -hmm. of your capital investment. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, you have raised $69 million in a convertible debenture. Correct. And uh, not, not, not so far ago. And um, can, can you a bit um, specify on the money what you want to spend this year, what you exactly want to do mm -hmm. with it? The, uh, the last convertible debenture that we raised was approximately $70 million, as you say, and that was largely uh, focused for the completion of the mine expansion and also the mill expansion. So uh, on mm -hmm. the on the photo here, you, there's a picture of the of the of the mine operation, but the milling operation also has to be expanded as well. Mm -hmm. So the proceeds from that convertible debenture finish off the mine expansion to mm -hmm. 2,200 tons underground, and finish off the mill expansion as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, you are still sitting on 90 million dollar cash. Correct. Yeah. Yes, and it's growing. The cash position we uh, is, is, is basically will stabilize over the next three to six months and then start to build. So yes, in the mm -hmm. next, as we escalate our production this year, the mm -hmm. cash position will start to escalate as well. Mm -hmm. um, coming back to exploration, as you said now, okay, you want to raise the production, you want to raise the whole um, uh, company. Uh, from the size, uh, what is going on in the exploration side? Well, we're very fortunate. We're in a high-grade camp, an historically high-grade camp. Uh, we've been spending between 12 and $18 million each year on exploration. Uh, that was targeted at reaching a total, a total uh, ounce position of 5 million ounces. So we've, been, we've had it in our minds and it's been part of the company's vision to have a 5 million ounce inventory and reserves of resources because that will support 
let's say our ultimate goal is to get to 250,000 ounces of gold, that will mm -hmm. support production for 15 plus years. So mm -hmm. as we near that target, as we're getting close now to that 5 million ounce target, we'll spend a little bit less on exploration. Mm -hmm. But in this next year, we have a very exciting uh, uh, exploration program targeting an area that has better than one ounce of gold uh, in it, at least to date. And we'll one, ounce one, one ounce of gold oh, per ton. One ounce of gold per ton. It's one zone within mm -hmm. the South Mine Complex. So that is going to be a very important focus of our exploration plans this year and next. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. on balance, we're finally getting to a success point of having 5 million ounces in all categories, which uh, supports production for a very long mine life. Oh, and, yes. and that's quite important also to attract people. One of the reasons we've been successful to attract the employees that we have mm -hmm. is because people see, they see the potential for 15, 20 year mine life. And that's what they, that's mm -hmm. the kind of places they want to work. Yeah, because they, they, they want to plan on their life. They want yeah. to have a career and they, yeah. and they know that we'll train them. We make an investment yeah. on, on average about $15,000 yeah. per person. That's a nice so support. We yeah. have had, uh, we've trained more than 700 people through our training programs. Mm -hmm. So it, it's a massive investment and we're lucky because we have a young workforce and we have a very good retention rate. We have better than 96% retention rate of our, mm -hmm. of our wow. staff. Wow, that's so it's it's a awesome. big operation now, mm -hmm. and it's a big responsibility, obviously, on the part of the company to, you know, not, I won't say look after the workers, but support mm -hmm. them, train them, and so forth and so on. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, last question. What is going on, like, let's say, dividend for your shareholders to reward them? Well, you know, the <laughs> shareholders, which include the, the, the founders of the company, myself yes. and Mr. Dobson, I mean, we're looking forward to getting to the point where we can pay a dividend. Mm -hmm. the dividends are an important part of the mining the mining investment uh, pattern, so to speak, mm -hmm. and, and mining companies historically paid very good dividends, and it's, it should be part of the, 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 uh, of the fabric, not just of our company, but of other, but of the, in the mining industry itself. So we look forward mm -hmm. to positioning the company in the next year or two to, to do exactly that, start mm -hmm. to pay a dividend. So uh, people can think about 2015, maybe? Type of thing, yes. Okay, well, that's a statement. Okay. Thank you very much, Thank Brian. you very much. Enjoy it. Thank you very All much. Right. Thank you. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that was Brian Hinchcliffe, and uh, you heard it, by 2015, the dividend is possible. They are now uh, expanding the uh, production, they are expanding the mine, the whole uh, operation. Watch out for the company, could be very interesting, even at those low levels. Thanks, bye-bye from Zurich.